hello guys it's your girl mama gabby thank you for coming back if this is your first time coming to my channel thank you and if you're returning thank you so much for returning we are doing tips to organizing your linen closet tips to organizing your linen closet hello guys we just clean out our um, linen closet and we are about to redecorate it this linen closet has been a mess so i'm just like you know let me clean it up first because if i want to show you the cleaning then it will make this video take a long i've i swipe the floor and i clean it with chlorals so everything is looking good so we'll be bringing in our towels face towels and washcloth and we're going to put some you know toothpaste and soap and detergent anything we need for this bathroom these are my kids bathroom though so we're going to put it here so this is how the bathroom is looking for now this is what we have and i'm going to marshall's to buy stuff more to pour in there so we are the marshals now and me and my daughter miracle we went to marshals so we're looking at the towels and we're comparing it to the what we have before we're looking at the colors guys remember you have to have a color coordinations when you want to do your decorations so we are looking at the color we're comparing the colors to what we have before we're comparing also the basket the towels the decorations everything has to match our team for this um linen closet organization is white black and gray so we're making sure we get everything together we are matching the whole thing and to see what is the best for the bathroom so miracle is helping me out and giving me tips also what to choose and what not to choose we kind of like working together you know i will ask her do you like this and she will ask me do i like that so that's what we were doing so guys when it comes to choosing stuff it might look easy but it's not easy at all so we've been we spent like two to three hours in the store trying to compare the towels try to compare everything making sure we got the best and making sure things we uh, we are picking up is more affordable so we spent a lot of time in here trying to pick things that will last and try to pick things that are kind of like affordable and cheap so now i'm tired and i told my daughter miracle we have to go so we just returned home and we are kind of like looking at what we got and trying to set up a plan on how to put it together to start the decoration process that's all we're doing here putting things together and matching them together so watch out so we just returned back from um marshall's and <laughs> we are seeing what we got and how we're going to fix the linen closet so we got this storage bin is for $14.99 and we got some towels and this one also the basket and so let's see how it's gonna turn up that's it everything else is so this is what we get um, hi guys, it's a dear mama Gabby again. I'm going to show you how to fold um, my towels for my cleaning closet so um, everything will look symmetrical and look beautiful so that you know when things are well organized you have more peaceful life. So this is how I do my towels. I go in between and make it let it go this way, not maybe just that hard. I have so many ways I fold my towel, but I'm going to show you guys this one. Make sure everything is lining together. And you put this inside the label, then you go. This way, straighten it out and we fold it 
in three places. So it's gonna give you this edgy look. That's how it looks. So imagine when you put three of them together and you see how beautiful it's gonna look. So I'm going to fold because I have three of each towels that I'm going to use for my linen closet. So I'm going to fold everything to be like this and I'll show you how it's gonna look. Then we'll take it to the linen closet and start organizing. Okay guys, so this is how we um we organize the whole towels. We folded them and you know when you fold your towels, make sure they are looking the same way. Don't put some different ways because it make it not to look more um, organized and symmetrical. So you put your towel and make sure they match. You put them like this. And this is like the wash towel. And you see how it's looking, it's facing the same way with this one. Don't let the edges this way. You don't want to see this. You want them to see this then it's gonna look like you know luxurious like in the store that's the goal of fixing your linen closet so that it look relaxing and look the same like what you see when you go to store the reason why you run and grab things at store because it's well kept in the in some shape and some manners so when you see it you like it and you rush and you grab it so you want to make your house so friendly too your linen closet should be you know hassle free you don't have to come and start searching for what you need this is the face towel and this is the wash towel and this is the bath towel so we're going to take it to the linen closet and we will start So, this is how it's looking. <laughs> this is how it's looking for now. And I'm gonna set it up and see how it look. So guys, we are doing this together. Anything I do you don't like, please put it on the comment section so that your baby girl can do more. Better, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and make Mama Gabby go viral. Thank you. Love you guys, like I always do. So I got this basket at um, Marshalls. So I'm going to use this basket to put some of the detergents we use. And so of this basket, we're going to kind of like organize everything inside them. And this basket, I think I got it like $12.99. Is it $12.99 or $9.99? The bigger one is $12.99 and this medium one is $9.99 and the smaller one is like $7.99 but I didn't get the smaller one I got the bigger one one bigger one and two medium because my linen closet is not like that um, big so I was kind of like careful of what I get so that things don't I don't come here and return most of the things I got so I was being mindful of the little space I have so that's what we're doing so I'm going to start putting things together kind of like you know organizing it and let's see how it's gonna turn out so I'm I'm going to use this um this basket for all our cleaning stuff all our cleaning detergents and so that the kids can is so oh, so big so I'm just gonna use this this is some of our laundry stuff I'm gonna make them look one way of the other so this is how we're going to We're gonna put our laundry detergents on this one and some 
the soap. Will it fit? Yep, it fits. So, I'm gonna make it here. Yep, it really fits. So, I'm gonna keep this and now we have to put some of the linen in this one also. So, I'm going to start arranging. This stuff, and we'll see which one looks better. Will it go? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Well fitted, guys. I'm still trying to kind of record myself and organize. These two things don't go too well, but I'm going to try. I think somebody should be recording me while I do the organization. I think that's what I'll do because if I'm picking stuff to put in the um, basket, then I'm not getting exactly what I'm doing. So I have to call my Dora so that she can record me for today. And we can take it from there. I have to call my first baby girl. So, Miracle, please come help your mommy. I have this before. I think I got this like two years ago when I went to Marshalls. And when I saw it, it looks very nice. I want it. It looks like a candle jar, but it's not a candle jar. So, I'm going to use it to put the cutting boards. No, is this the cutting boards, right? Yeah, for the children. So, and they want to use cutting board is very very accessible for them so i'm going to put in cutting boards here and we'll also put it in the linen closet i got this job for five dollar 99 cents at marshall's guys when you want to get something good marshall's ross bulletin home goods and home sense those are the places i do baby Putting in the cotton balls in the cotton tray. I'm gonna call it cotton ball jar now. So, guys, one thing with me is like I might use this today for doing this, and tomorrow I'll have a better use for it. So, whatever I use, I can reuse it for something else tomorrow when I feel like you know it'll be better like that. Yeah, this looks so beautiful. So, I'm going to use this for the cotton balls. So, one fair lot. It's a, it's a bottle, so, so this one goes in here and I think it's made up a cup, so we will see. So these are the stuff I have in here. Do we put this here or just over here? So. This one, so I'm going to use it to put this up so that the boys like to use soap. Irish cream, Irish spring, don't mind me. <laughs> I said Irish cream. <laughs> yes, I do Irish cream, guys. So this is the soap for the boys. So when they run out of soap, they don't have to like. And this is some of their toothpaste also. I'm going to put everything here. The girls' hair products are also here. So this basket is gonna be like, and I'm going to put it the some of the cutting board here so that they can refill it whenever they want. So this is how this is gonna look. Yep. And this cream here for my daughter. It's a cream. And if you want some, this I have like spillover. Basket, their cream, body cream, shower gel, everything is on this basket. So this is how the basket is looking for now. The second basket, like I told you, I got three baskets, and I use one for linen, the linen they use on a regular basis, and I use one for detergent. Some of the detergents are here also, but I have some soap, body lotion, and body gel. For the kids so this is like um spillover stuff we have in the house the cotton board the vaseline 
we can do with our Vaseline so this is all we have for this basket and we're gonna pour it together and we see how it's gonna turn out so this is how the bottom part is looking guys this video would have taken us like an hour plus so what I did is we clean we sweat and we kind of like dusted things out before we start this decoration process because it's taking us longer than anticipated so i'm going to go like each row to each row then i'll show you how it look after because if i start putting things on top you might not see how to put things together so like i said before these are like the soap the spillover soap or left i don't know how do you call it spillover or whatever you call it you know what i'm what i mean like that's where they can go to grab a soap when they want to take a shower this is our cleaning detergents and this is also more of their shampoos everything they need but it's at the bottom so that they can easily pull it out and take what they want and put it back it's at the bottom so the second one i'm going to put maybe some basket and linen and we'll figure out what to do this is not easy but it's doable so these are the towels we have some are the towels we bought and some are the old towels we had before so we're going to like put it together <laughs> guys yeah we're going to put it together and see how it will look so my daughter is going to record me while i put them together okay i'm just gonna put maybe It's good that we put everything from a coordinator than mixing them up. It's like eco friendly towel, you know, and that's why I grab it. This one should be fully very well. I'm going to record it that it's close. I'm gonna help me to fold it. So. See what we forgot to get the first towel to go with this. Because the thing is black, gray, and white, right? That's what we say, right? Black, gray, and white, so we are going to put this black. <laughs> we'll be putting on top of this white. 
go this and so is gonna cover this so now I think we can turn the right put the white here are you getting inside the closet yeah you can come this side so that you get any uh -huh. so what we're going to do is we can put this here Straight. Straight. This way is good. Okay. So I'm going to take this in. I'm going to put this on top here so that each hole will have your basket and each. So guys, this is how the linen closet looks for now. So what happened, I discovered that we ran out of a lot of stuff and I was thinking my linen closet was small, but now I know it's big because everything's, everything we put in there and they keep looking like it's canty. Um, anyway, anyway, I don't want it to be like too full and look too much clutter. So this is how it look. Um, this thing is kind of empty. So... A miracle says she's gonna put her hair product in here and right now she have it in her room so she says she's gonna put like the stuff she used to do her hair and for zoe also so i guess that's gonna be their um, bean and the guys say they're gonna put their deodorants their shell and everything on the second stuff and we have some paste and some cream on there so this is how the linen closet turned out to look wow and we put some a little bit decoration here these are their creams um beds and body works and some victoria's secrets and this decoration this stuff we saw it at the marshals they look so pretty and i kind of like love it how much is it so this is 5.99 and this one is like 6.99 so it's so beautiful and i decided to get it so i got some um like what did they call this well air freshener is a citrus blossom kind of to make the um closet smells good like when you open your closet to take something you know you got some good fragrance coming out from it and these are some of the fragrance they can spray in their bathroom when they feel like their bathroom need to get a fresh spray how much is this one $3.99 at uh, Marshalls and this lavender kind of like love lavender um stuff and this is three ninety nine also I got it for them for their bathroom spray and also this candle I could not resist I mean it's gonna stay here until I figure out what to do because I have so many candles maybe I'll put it in my room but not now it's gonna stay here for um decorative purposes and this is how we got we got this also at Marshalls, I think for $9.99. So this is how our linen closet look like. Guys, it's not easy when you see those people decorating, doing this 10 minutes, 15 minutes on YouTube and you think, oh, it's easy, honey. <laughs> it's not easy, but I can, I'm kind of like loving this. Yeah, it looks so organized and I hope the kids will keep it together. I'll keep you updated when we go to BJ's or Costco to do our shopping. That will be next week. And then we can get stuff they need, like more soap, more tissue, bad tissue, and uh, all the stuff they need. Even the clippers, the lip balms, all those things. They are Vaseline because we run out of our Vaseline. I normally buy those things in bulk and save, you know. So this is how the bats. 
this is how it turned out to look so please guys this thing took me like three to four hours to do please don't forget to hit like don't forget to share don't forget to um comment don't forget to send to your friends support your baby girl and i will see you guys later the next one i will do might be my laundry room or my nursing uniform closet so watch out for those decorative videos they are coming and maybe i should put some greenery here my kids will be like mom you're doing so much <laughs> oh boy thank you guys for watching love you like i always do please if you've not subscribed and you like what i'm doing here please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel please thank you bye bye